Welcome to Can Do Spanish by SpanishPod101.com. Hola a todos. Soy Víctor Trejo. Hi everyone. I'm Víctor Trejo. In this lesson, you'll learn how to ask for something at a grocery store. Want to know if your Spanish skills are improving and what your real learning level is? Get your language skills assessed with our free level assessment test. Just click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get assessed. This is Ben Lee, and he's at a small grocery store. After finding something he likes, he points and says, This, please. Esto, por favor. Listen to the conversation. Focus on Ben's request. Ready? Esto, por favor. Aquí tiene. Once more with the English translation. Esto, por favor. This, please. Aquí tiene. Here you are. Let's take a closer look at Ben's request. Do you remember how Ben says, this, please? Esto, por favor. This standard way of asking for something follows a simple pattern. First is the word, esto. This. Esto. Esto. If you don't know the name of an item and consequently its gender, you can point and use esto. It refers to something which is near the speaker. Ben uses it because he's pointing at something which is near to him. Next is, por favor, please, por favor, por favor. All together it's, esto, por favor, this please, esto, por favor. Do you remember how the clerk says, here you are? Aquí tiene. First is aquí, which means here. Aquí. Aquí. Then it's tiene. You have in the formal register. Tiene. Tiene. Tiene is the shortened form of usted tiene. Usted, a formal word meaning you, is omitted as it's understood from the conjugated form of the verb. Altogether it's, Aquí tiene. Here you are, in the formal register. Because Ben is a customer, Gabriel Molina uses formal language with him. Tiene, is from the verb, Tener, meaning to have. Tener. Aquí tiene. Here you are. Aquí tiene. The pattern is. Item, por favor. Item, please. Item, por favor. To use this pattern, simply replace the item placeholder with the thing you want. Note, this pattern requires a demonstrative pronoun, which is determined by the location, gender, and the number of the desired item. If you want an object somewhat out of your reach, you can use eso, that, eso, eso. Imagine you'd like something beyond reach. In this case, use eso, that, eso, eso. Say that, please. Ready? Eso, por favor. That, please. Eso, por favor. 
The phrase is Esto, por favor. And Eso, por favor. Can be used to refer to an item without knowing its name in Spanish. Note, for an item quite far from the speaker and listener, use aquello, that, as in that over there, aquello, 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 por favor, that over there, please, aquello, por favor. To recap, close to the speaker, esto, this, close to the listener, eso. That. Far from both. Aquello. That over there. All these pronouns can be used to refer to an item without knowing its name in Spanish. Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Esto, por favor. Esto, por favor. Eso, por favor. Eso, por favor. Aquello, por favor. Aquello, por favor. Eso y esto, por favor. Eso y esto, por favor. Esto y aquello, por favor. Esto y aquello, por favor. Did you notice how I used a different pattern for the last two sentences? With these can-do videos, you'll see real-life situations where you have to introduce yourself, talk about your family, or give your contact information. So, by the end, you can do them yourself in Spanish. This video is a small portion of our CanDo course. To get the full course, including translations, grammar tools, and assessment tests, click the link in the description. Esto y aquello, por favor. This and that, please. Esto y aquello, por favor. He uses the words esto and aquello together esto this esto aquello that aquello when requesting multiple items you can join them with the conjunction e meaning and e and e the pattern is item y item, por favor. Item and item, please. You should be aware of this pattern, but you won't need it for this lesson. Let's review the key words. Aquello. That, over there. Aquello. Aquello. Eso. That. Close to the listener. Eso. Eso. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say please? Por favor. Por favor. Do you remember how Ben says this please? Esto, por favor. Esto, por favor. Do you remember how to say here? Aquí. Aquí. Do you remember how the clerk says, here you are? Aquí. 
Aquí tiene. Aquí tiene. When you don't know the name of something, do you remember the word for that as in that over there? Aquello. Aquello. Do you remember the word for that when it's close to the listener? Eso. Eso. Let's practice. Imagine you're Ben, and you're at the grocery store to buy some bread, but you don't know the word. Instead, you point at it and say, This, please. Ready? Esto, por favor. Aquí tiene. Listen again and repeat. Esto, por favor. Esto, por favor. Let's try another one. Imagine you're Sasha, and you see a small snack next to the clerk you'd like to try. Ask for that. Ready? Eso, por favor. Aquí tiene. Listen again and repeat. Eso, por favor. Eso, por favor. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Karen, and you see an item in the showcase behind the clerk. Ask for that over there. Ready? Aquello, por favor. Aquí tiene. Listen again and repeat. Aquello, por favor. Aquello, por favor. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our CanDo course. Now you know how to ask for something at a grocery store in Spanish. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson.